Hello and welcome back to another video. It is I, Erosium, and we are going to be looking today at tailoring with TSM. So TSM is a really powerful add-on which you can use to basically create loads of gold and profit using your professions or whatever item you are basically deciding to, to sell. Um, first is first, you need to download TSM. It is an add-on, but it also has an application which is basically the database behind it. So just getting the add-on on its own won't work. You need to get the add-on and then you also need to get the database, the application and install that on your PC as well. Check out the description. I'll make sure there's a link both right there for you. Super easy. Make yourself a TSM account and sign up to that. Okay, with that being done, let's get straight into this. We're gonna be using tailoring today and I'm gonna be showing you how to assess what is profitable what is not open up your tailoring our bags here we don't need those open right now okay now first is first if you have Colterin tailoring or along those lines uh, this will work for basically all professions it's a similar type of method um, some of these might not be showing profit if I scroll down you can see some are showing profit just like that they are not showing profit what it basically means is they can still be profitable but TSM can't work out the profit that you'll get because there are certain materials within that crafting that you cannot buy on the auction house so they do not have value so TSM cannot say oh this is how much that is worth that's how much you know it will cost to make that item because of that they, it can't create a, a overall worth for the item. So Expulsum, as an example, is something that you can only gain from scrapping items in the scrapper in, in Borrelus, or you can get from doing world quests. So you have to just bear that in mind. Um, this might be very uh, sinister combatant satin belt. It might be a very, very good thing to make and very profitable if you've got Expulsum. However, TSM can't tell you that because of the fact you can't buy Expulsum. Okay guys, do just bear that in mind. Uh, what's always good just doing is just go Expulsum, make a few of them, sell them, see if it works. If it doesn't, then at least you learn. Some of this is just trial and error, guys, okay? So with that having been spoken about now, uh, we're gonna scroll down. Um, now, I just want to open up TSM really quickly and just make sure that you guys have the correct settings or your um, your database so you basically a TSM is a very powerful program and it will pull the prices of all items from every single realm in your region and then collate those and tell you what those prices are but you don't need to know those prices you really only need to know the prices on your realm because that is what's relevant to you so say uh, there's a really low pop realm prices are really high or you know crafted items that isn't going to be helpful to someone in the high pop realm who is crafting items um, that sell for much, much less. You might be losing a lot of gold, so you've got to be careful of that. Click settings, and then here where it says filter group items list based on the following price source. I put DB region sale average, and that just basically means that um, for the realm that I am on, Silver Moon, um, it will basically collate all that information of how much things are sold for, just make sure it's relevant to me. On that so for example if it like every realm possible this might be worth thousand gold this might be worth thousand gold instead of 167 gold which it is on on silver moon so you just have to bear that in mind okay guys all right so let's get straight into this then um we're going to just assess what is make both it has to look green and profit but it also has to be of a good sale value so this does show a decimal point, 0 0.06. Think of it as more of a percentage, okay guys? So that's 6% sell rate, okay? Uh, which is pretty good. I like to go for anything 5% and above. This is 0 0.05 and above. That's what I like to look at. Sometimes if it's got really good profit, like a thousand gold, I, I might consider 0 0.04, okay? So Tide Spray Linen Cloak, looking pretty good here um, and it's quite profitable it is worth noting that if it is under 0 0.05 it can sell it takes a lot longer and thus you're gonna have to take into account that you're spending a lot of money posting that on the auction house 
lot of time having to do the scans to post that on the auction house. Do just bear that in mind. Okay. Tide Spray Linen Cloaks. That's 167 gold profit. I'm going to queue one of those, but I just want to make sure we take one of them. Um, these are 0 0.04. Um, not going to really... Well, I am actually going to... I'm going to go for a 0 0.0. I'm feeling lucky. So we're going to make some 0 0.04s. Queue all those up. Now there is also a little trick called the uh, Tide Spray Shuffle and it's definitely worth a little Google of that or a little YouTube of that. Um, I believe Samadan Plays Wow made that and it's a little trick that you can use to get Expulsum a few other bits and bobs which is quite helpful for you. Uh, but I would definitely say that's more of an advanced technique and it, since this is more of a, a newer person video I, I would say stick to, to just the very basics of that. Okay, so let's just scroll down here and assess what is profitable. This has got a 0 0.08 profit. That is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to queue one of those. Silkweave Satchel. This hasn't got a high gold margin, but what it does have is a 0 0.38 sell rate. So that, that's basically 38% of the chance it's going to sell. So let's queue four of these. Imbued Silkweave Satchel finds when equipped and this has a pretty darn good sell rate as well But you do just have to bear in mind it requires blood of Sargeas, which you have to do from world quest legion So if you want to make those go do some world quest and legion get yourself some blood of Sargeas, and You should be able to craft those and they sell very well 25% of them so worth. Let's look at the region sale rate so the region it looks like they sell about a thousand seven hundred and thirty each, so that could be worth your time. And um, this is going to take you about fifty. To get some. Let's carry on down. Here. Look for anything with a high enough sell rate. That has a good sell rate, but at seventy-eight silver per. And it is bolts of wind cloth, and if you are doing two hundred of these, that could definitely be worth it. So. What's the maths on that? So 10 times it's 7 gold, 8. Yeah, it would be very much worth it if you could sell 200 of these in one day, but it comes down to, to whether you will. A Greater Cerulean Spell Thread. I sell about two of these a day. They are really, really good. Um, definitely worth. I'm going to queue one of those up. Oh, I don't need four of them. <laughs> need one. Okay. And if we look here, lots of profitable things, but unfortunately, really low sell rate. I don't like low I don't like having to just craft things crafting it. Crafted dreadful gladiators, yes, we'll keep that, that looks lovely. Further loads of 0 0.01 unfortunately just the way it is. Windwall bandages. Or oh, ghostly spell thread, yeah I sell loads of these. An enchanted spell thread, yeah. Of those bags, built bags, otherworldly bag, yes, please. Further, death silk shoulders. I mean, yeah, let's do it. I can't even remember having crafted these, but maybe that sell rate's changed when I last looked at this. Definitely worth just the maintenance. Be careful for things like Moon Shroud because this might not be worth your time. Um, I think it is. It's definitely good. Uh, but sometimes with, with certain items, you might have to go to like a Moon Well craft there. That can take a bit of time out of your craft. A uh, Bolt of Frost Weave actually has a really good sell rate and is very profitable. So definitely worth looking at that. So Bolt of Imbued Frost Weave. We're going to actually make 20 of these and just use it as an experiment. So that's saying we will make 21 gold per Bolt of Imbued of Frost Weave. That's pretty damn incredible considering it's got a 16% sell rate. If we make uh, 10 of these, that's 210 gold. If we make 20, that's 420 gold. Let's queue that. I want to I wanna try that. See what it's like. And it's really good just because a lot of people are kind of lazy and they'll just buy bolts straight from the auction house instead of, you know, them crafting them themselves. The bolts of Frost Weave, um, Looks like they haven't got any profit on those, so just be careful with that. Okay, 
I think we've got quite a lot here. Let's add one of these as well. What else is there? Okay. Workman shirt. Shirt. Lumberjack shirt. Okay, guys, so I, I feel like we've got quite a lot here. This got a 77% chance of selling. I'm going to make a ton of these, actually, just because that is quite high and I'll have to restock quite quickly. So let's just make a bunch of these. Right, that's enough, Erosium. That is enough. Stop being a greedy goblin. Okay. <laughs> so here you can see on the bottom, um, it says, I will have to invest an estimated cost of 6,052 gold and my estimated profit, once I've recouped the cost of the crafting, will be 6,000 gold up. So realistically, uh, we've got 100% um, return on investment. That's our ROI, return on investment, uh, is 100% because of the fact that we're getting 100% back from, from that. Okay, guys? So let's look at gathering here. So you, you click gathering. Then we click tailoring. Perfect. Yes, we've got everything we need. We open task list. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that's super. Uh, now, cooldowns. I'm just going to close that because I don't really need that open. Expirations. I don't need that open. Okay, and it is telling us we need to buy a bunch of stuff from the auction house. Okay, let's do that. So, first is first. Click the auction house and click ESM. Click shopping. And then you'll see this button here on the right side has been highlighted. We're going to click scan all. That will basically just bring up the entire scan of what we buy from the auction house. I do just want to just say a little disclaimer. This is a little bit buggy with the buy feature. So definitely worth just considering um, that if it does bug out and say internal auction error, uh, just switch to the wow UI and type in what you need to buy from the shopping list. It's very easy. Uh, but if it doesn't do that, then you're, you're laughing. So we'll buy Shaldori Silk first. 378. 7, 8. Bye. Okay, then we're going to buy Dream Shard. Two. Then we buy Infinite Dust times four. In internal auction error, fortunately, infinite dust. It's just the way it is sometimes. What it is, is um, it's just a little bit buggy since they've changed the auction house. Um, it didn't used to do this. It used to be very you know, fluent, it used to work perfectly with that, but that is just the, the way it goes sometimes. Volatile life, and we need to buy 141 of those. Buy that. Now just bear in mind guys, if you are crafting items that have a low uh, a low sale rate, you're really opening yourself up for a lot of issues uh, later on in the game. Um, and I just don't suggest doing that. I, I've personally spent a lot of money in the past when I first started this on items that just don't sell. And then I've had to keep posting and keep posting it. And in the end, I just, I just, I, I just sold it to a vendor because it was honestly that useless and, and I wasn't getting enough profit from it. It was just worth bearing in mind not to make that mistake. Okay. Hypnotic dust, ember silk cloth, ember silk. And we need to buy quite a lot of this. Okay, so let's buy just 1,000. Go. 870 gold. Okay, that's bought. Excellent. And you notice this stuff still says buy from the auction house. That's because you're using the World of Warcraft buy and not the um, PSM one. But as you lose it from the mailbox, you'll see that. You'll see that everything's... Okay, so we've got everything from there. It now is telling us we need to craft some bolts of netherweave and bolts of ember silk cloth. Let's get that done. Crafting, type in Bolt of Ember. Turn to Spell Erosium. Noob. Okay, so that is the Bolt of Ember Silk done. And now we're going to do the Bolt of Nether Weave. Which we can craft. We need craft four right now, it says. Which is fine. 
and craft an absolute load, but that is the nature of things. Excellent. Okay, so now that is done, we can actually craft everything here. We no longer need this TS task list open. I'm going to close that and we're going to drag this across and start crafting it with our bags. It's just as simple as actually just clicking craft and letting it go to work. If there are multiple things it's crafting, you don't need to click again. Uh, like, for example, when we're going to do the 20 bolt of frost weave. Uh, we're not going to need to do that we'll just do all 20 nice and easily and the same for the bags as well it is also worth noting with the bags um i often find that it's better to create a separate group of those as the pricing can sometimes be a bit off with okay, now those are made let's do the ember silk bags does those actually quite quickly which I'm very happy about. Now the next thing once we've crafted all these will be doing the groups and then the operations so it's definitely worth sticking around and paying attention to each of those as well. It's quite complicated work and it's definitely worth um, just learning it all and making sure you've got everything in your head understood so it's super easy. Looking good. We're going to have a nice bit of profit from all of this. I'm very happy about this. Now, you can bear in mind that the more recipes you get, the better chance you have of getting a nice bit of profit on the side from this. There was quite a lot that I didn't go through in the tailoring that is very profitable, mostly because I want you guys to be able to look at it yourself and kind of make those for yourself. Okay, so that is done. We've got everything in our bags that we kind of require to sell. Anything that I don't want to sell, such as these bolts here, I'm just going to put that in and this hectoring bag as that is a separate item or whether it's nothing to do. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to TSM here, the mini map icon, pick groups, and what we're going to be doing is just ignoring all of these groups I've currently got already, and we're going to be making a new group altogether. So let's just call this tailoring. Tailoring. Okay, and we're going to make a subgroup. One's going to be cool. Crafted items. One's going to be called bags. The reason we want to do that is because when we're posting on the auction house, uh, the bags will, will basically require a slightly different post uh, operation to what the crafted items were. Because there's a lot more bags in the, on the auction house, sometimes they require a different by setting to the crafted items. But if we just click crafted items here, we're just going to choose the bolt of imbued frost weave, frost, uh, frost woven leggings, and cinch, and then the tide spray cloak as well. So let's just choose those items. That's pretty much everything there. Super, super, super. Uh, there are some other stuff here, but I've already got those in a group up here. So you can see they won't basically be, be seen because of that. So crafted items, we've got everything in there. Now for the bags. Embersilk bags in just there. Excellent. And we're going to make operations now. Okay, so first is first. Let's make a operation which will allow us to post it on the auction house. Now I've already got one here, which you guys feel free to copy if you so choose. We'll craft post. It works the same way as it does with groups. Create new. And then you can basically change the settings of that new operation. Delete that though. Craft post. This is the one I will be using for my crafted items. And I've got it set to 24 hours. So every day I just come on and repost the items uh, in the morning. Nice and easy. Okay. I like to have a maximum post of four. And I, I like to keep zero in my bags. I don't like keeping them in my bags. If they haven't sold after 10, I like to know about it. And I want to know... Why is this not sold? Am I making a mistake here? So I have this set to 10. If it doesn't sell after 10 posts, then I want to know about it. Undercut amount, you can have this as 0 copper or 1 copper. I'm actually going to change that to 1 copper. And set your minimum price as max 110% crafting. Hey okay, guys. And the reason for that is it's just basically getting 
that's your your minimum profit that you want to gain from selling these items okay uh, so that's a 10 percent profit is a very minimum you will accept as recompense for making these items okay and post at minimum when below minimum price okay that way you aren't losing profit on anything you craft maximum price i like to go for 500% so i go max 500% crafting so once it's got its 100% uh, crafting material price cost back i want 400% additional profit on top okay that's why it's 500% crafting and above maximum post a maximum price my normal price is max 250% crafting so that's 150% profit on top of the crafting price um, and db region market value so that basically ensures that i'm taking the the actual cost from my region auction house not every auction house on every different realm okay that's why we're doing that now once that's done you click details and you apply this operation to the group that you've just made so we're going to apply this to tailoring crafted items and then we're going to do the bags one okay the bags one i actually use the default for this because in my experience with bags um, there are so many on the auction house that part, the prices to skew with. You're best just using the default and uh, just making sure that you undercut cut your uh, competition by one copper is very, very easy. The default works really well and uh, it just undercuts the, your competition perfectly. So I'm going to put this as eight right now. The bag, sometimes you might be selling you know, multiples of eight. That might be better for you. Now, once that's done, we're going to make a crafting operation. Now, crafting operations is something that you will use when you're restocking what you've already sold. So each day when you log on, instead of having to go through and analyze what's profitable, what's not profitable, what can I make? You've already got a group made to analyze that for you. Let's make it super easy by just clicking restock and everything will just come up and say, buy this stuff, make this stuff, done. It, it gets that easy. So this is what we're gonna do right now. I've already got some here that I use. Um, my full T, which stands for full tailoring slash enchanting. And it's a very simple one. Um, here is 10% crafting. So the minimum profit on restocking automatically takes your 100% crafting material cost. So say um, I'm making a chess piece that costs uh, 100 gold, and I want to make um, 100. I, I want to make 10 gold on top of my crafting. I will just put 10% because it will automatically figure out that I want to get my 100 gold back crafting that item. And then I want to get 10 gold profit on top as a minimum cost, okay? So putting 10% crafting just ensures that you get your cost back and get a little bit of profit on top. Um, and that will basically just work out what needs to be crafted and what doesn't, okay? Now, um, obviously the restock amounts are totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to go for one for this and three for the maximum restock quantity. Um, I'm pretty happy with that in all honesty. Once you've done that, select the operation and apply that to the or whatever it is you're, you're doing it on. Crafted items, um, just there. And we're actually going to apply this to the crafted bags as well. Excellent. So now when you go to your tailoring, bear in mind this won't work right now because we've just made the items and we don't need to restock. But when you click groups, the next day when you've sold all of this, you click groups, just deselect some of this stuff here. We don't need to have this all selected. Detailing, tailoring here, the new group we've got, we just have to select that and click restock. And you see, we can basically restock any items that we've already crafted. And we've already crafted these. We've already got these items. We don't need to worry about that. But it's definitely worth bearing that in mind. Okay. So let's go to the auction house and since we've now got some posting operations, we can just literally click the tailoring group that we've got. Post certain things, the, the tailoring group we've got and click run post scan. This will basically collect all the information from the application on your PC and funnel it into the add-on on World of Warcraft. Then it will tell you um, the automatic price that you need to post your item to undercut your competition and ensure you are going to sell that item at the most profitable way you can without losing your know, time on just selling something at a ridiculous price. Okay, so now that is done. That's super. That's looking good. We're, we're going to post all that stuff. I want you to open up TSM. Don't close the auction house. Open up TSM. Click settings. 
go down to where it says on the, on the left side, macros. Click macros, and where it says here, auctioning post slash cancel button. Click that, make that yellow. And then here, you need to decide what I what you want to use as your macro button. This is basically going to make it easier. So when you're in the auction house and you have to click here, you have to keep clicking if you've got hundreds and hundreds of items to sell because if your finger finger will, will get will really struggle to click that many times. So we want to make this go nice and smoothly. We'll make a little macro here to, to allow us to do that bit quicker. For mine, I've got scroll wheel up and down whilst holding the alt key. Okay, update existing macro. And then instead of having to click post, I actually just get to hold alt and scroll mouse wheel and it's all posted that quickly. Okay guys, now once that is posted, you can go to my auctions and at the bottom of that, it will actually tell you how much you've got posted on the auction house. Uh, bear in mind, I already had a bunch of stuff posted on the auction house, uh, so um, mine's a bit skew with and I haven't actually done my posting today at all. Do you believe I've got like 100,000 worth of of items in my mailbox right now I have to fish out of the um, out the mailbox and get posting so I'm gonna do that if you guys enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button you leave me a comment in the section below or you click subscribe and I'll see you in a future video thanks for watching this is Erosium out